All right. Welcome to the call for Team Inspire Action. We are doing sort of a check-in with coaches on what's been working lately, what's been working for Team Cup Month. And then also working through a short power hour if we have time. So hopefully we'll have some time to do that. But I know people have been um, interested in, you know, what's been working lately, what people are struggling with. And we have a couple coaches that um, I would love to hear from and have them tell a little bit of what's been going on for them lately. So we've got Taylor who's going to chime in with us tonight. And then Paulette is um, not able to get on, but I think she's going to do a video to share with the team uh, later. So um, why don't we start a little bit with Taylor and kind of hear from you a little bit, and then we'll see what we have as far as time to jump into doing a Power 30 or something like that. So um, let me see. I'm going to mute everybody, and then Taylor, I'm going to unmute you. And you can unmute yourself if needed. Just feel free to do that when you need to. Okay, so Taylor, you should be unmuted. Can you say hello? hello. Okay, cool. Hello, okay. Michelle is on. Yay, <laughs> hi, Michelle. <laughs> All right, so thanks for hopping on. Thanks for listening later in the recording. Um, like I said, if you missed that, we're going to get through as quickly as we can tonight um, and see what we have as far as time for a Power 30 or Power 15, 20. Um, and then also hear from Taylor. So Taylor has been a coach for how long? Oh gosh, technically it's probably been like two years, but I didn't okay. really do anything with it the first year and year and a half. Okay. So what changed for you about six months ago, or maybe even a little less, something like that, that you said, okay, I'm going to start working at this. What, what made the difference for you with that? I think seeing everyone else and their successes and then really finding out um, how passionate I am about health and fitness and helping others and with it allowing me to kind of, you know, do what I want and create that freedom. Um, I think that's what really, you know, I would be and participate in the groups and I went through, you know, the coach basics like three times and mm -hmm. I wasn't really doing anything with it and then I don't even know I just decided like okay I'm gonna do this because being fresh out of college it was hard to find a job it was challenging no one wants to hire someone that doesn't have much experience and I'm I live in a tiny town of Tiffin so there's really not much around here for what I went to school school for and I didn't necessarily want to move far away just to get a job so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to kind of start something and just see where it goes and to take a chance so that's kind of what got my motivation started okay and then once I got involved and started hearing other people's stories of how they were able to do this with full-time jobs I was like well then heck yeah I can do this Right, full time jobs, kids, yeah. and job, and <laughs> and married. Yep. Yeah. So, um, and you are currently working a full time job too, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, what gave you that extra push recently that has really helped to make a difference? Do you think? I think Super Saturday. I had gone to one probably a year ago I would say um and that kind of I was like okay but I still wasn't really into it at that point and then I went to the super Sunday that we just had recently and it kind of just really spoke to me and really gave me motivation I wasn't able to go to summit this year because um I had my new job and I was covering maternity leave for the other therapist so I I couldn't go but the Super Sunday just kind of, I don't know, just things that Sarah Try said and Josh Coates said, I was really like, oh my gosh, yeah. Especially like some of the things Josh would say, I was like, that's me. <laughs> so I need to kick the habit to the side. Because that's some so of the excuses or things yes. like that, that he talks about. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And saying them in a funny way, I think, but also, you know, like pointing out stuff that we do say, we all say it sometimes, but saying them in a funny way, because he's worked with a zillion coaches that he's heard all that stuff from, 
Yeah. Um, but then seeing some of that in us, um, you can either get really defensive and really mad about it and say, forget it. He doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Or you can say, wow, I'm getting defensive or I, I, it's striking a chord because it really is something that's going on. And so yeah. do I want to do something different about it? Does that, is that Exactly. Right. And for me, it was kind of like, it made me think back to my why. Like, why do I want to do this? What, you know, what got me started and why did I choose to start with? Why did I choose to start drinking Shakeology every day and doing beach body programs? And then why do I want to, you know, build my own business and see where I can go with this? So like things that he said and Sarah both, it kind of made me think back to my why. And I think that's really what kind of kicked me in the butt too is because I'm, I'm young. So it's like I, the sky's the limit for me. I can do, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, and like for me, like just thinking about the future, I'm like, yeah, when I do have kids, you know, I want to be able to stay at home with them and not have to worry about, you know, going back to work after only eight weeks of maternity leave, you know, and things like that. So really just thinking ahead and then relating that back to my why kind of just gives me that motivation even more. So awesome. Awesome. So what are you, so I think this is such an important part and this is like that hits home so much because our team name, I created the team name inspire action because inspiration is a big thing. But without any action, it just is like, okay, let's all feel good. <laughs> so we need the inspire action part. And I, you know, with changing the, the letter and adding the C in there to make it action. So what actions have you been taking differently now that you've had some of those light bulb moments for you? Really? Um, so for me, I absolutely terrified, like terrified of conversations, terrified of feeling like I was just selling. And that was what was really keeping me like from the get go being success successful. But I have completely gotten out of my shell. And for me, I have found that it's actually harder for me to talk to my own family and like my close friends or even people I went to high school with or met in college, it's harder for me to talk to them, like, and just have a normal conversation and eventually bring up Beachbody than it is for me to have a conversation with a complete stranger and then it be brought up. So me knowing that, I've been really working on that because I know that's what I'm not good at. So I've really been focusing on the things that I know that I'm not good at. So following up with people I wasn't doing well with either. And that is actually, I have sold one, two, two, four, six, four challenge packs in like two weeks. Wow. And all of them have been people that literally I talked to months ago. But it's just, I'm in the habit of like following up now. And that's really what has helped. And then getting out of my comfort zone and doing live videos on Facebook now. I've done a few of those. and. That's something that I've been terrified with too because I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to, you know, people are going to judge me or something like that. But I've just kind of like gotten rid of that and kind of have the mentality like who cares what they think if they don't like it, whatever, you know. So like putting those live videos out there too that has gotten a lot of attention and that has led people to even, you know, start conversations with me and has made it easier for me to start conversations with you know, like 70 other people because that's how many people will like it. And then I just go and I thank them. So I've really been basing a lot of my conversations off of just simply thanking, you know, someone for liking my post. Yeah. Awesome. But getting out of my comfort zone, that's, that's been the main thing yeah. that has really been the game changer this month because before I would kind of, you know, I would make a post about, oh, I did this workout today, or I would post a picture like after a workout, but that doesn't necessarily get a lot of people's attention. Most people might, you know, look right over that when they're scrolling through Facebook. So that's why I was like, okay, I got to do something that's going to get people's attention. So those live videos I have found. So just doing things that get you out of your comfort zone really do help in the end. It might be scary at first because it's been scary for me, but it's really been paying off. 
Yeah. Oh, Taylor, that's, that's so awesome. So recognizing what you were choosing fear about what you were being fearful about and um, deciding to do it anyway, deciding to put yourself in that uncomfort zone. Um, and it sort of gets more comfortable, right? Like it's not yeah. fine always. I mean, sure, still there's going to be times that you are uncomfortable or you're like, oh, this is pushing it. But just doing it, doing it anyway. So really, that's awesome. And recognizing that you weren't doing the follow-ups, maybe, or that you just yeah. still needed to do them. You were scared. What do you think it was that you were scared of about the follow-ups? I think it was, you know, getting the nose, of course, was like the first thing that I was afraid of. But even just people like assuming right off the bat that I just was going to try to sell something when really for me, it's not even like I could care less if I sold, you know, a challenge pack or a fitness program or Shakeology. For me, it's all about, you know, can I make someone feel better about themselves? Like I actually had a post. I, I posted a quote, like it wasn't even anything original. It was a, a post I saw on Pinterest and I literally just copied the picture and posted it on Facebook. And I had two people message me on Facebook thanking me for posting that because they said that it made them feel good. Wow. And so, you know, just things like that. Like if I can make someone completely have their day turned around because of something I post or something I say, like to me, that's worth it. So, yeah. Yeah worth all that discomfort that you may have had about well what if someone doesn't like it exactly. usually the people that don't like it are just going to scroll on by <laughs> i mean if they really take the time to say something then oh well like you said whatever but really yeah. they're going to scroll by but you do hear from the people that did like it and that it did make a difference for so yeah. really cool and i think what you said, you could care less about selling the challenge packs or whatever. Yes, you want that long term for growing your business and all that. But in the moment, and that's what I think it's important to focus on in the moment, it looks like you're focusing on I'm just doing things to be a good person and to help others w in whatever way I can. That okay. might, it might not be a challenge pack. That might be a smile on their face today. That might be thanks for sharing something. That might be just a conversation that you decided to start. That isn't about selling to them. Maybe it ends up that way, but maybe not. And it's okay, whatever it does. I think it's exactly. so, so important to realize that, that we are there to brighten people's days and be a force of light and, and, and positivity. And if it leads somewhere else, awesome, but it's not always going to, and it's totally fine either way. So really, really cool, Taylor. Um, so the challenge packs that you've sold, are those people then joining groups? Are they people that um, are getting involved in the health bet challenge next month? How's that? Um, yep, all of them, um, kind of, ex all of them except for one. Um, well, maybe two. Um, all came about with the whole health bet. Okay. Um, kind of using that as extra motivation. Like I said, mm -hmm. all of them are people that I have kind of talked to, like I said, months ago yeah. and have just simply followed up with them this month, taking full advantage of the health bet. And that has kind of been the motivation for them. And I think um, also like me posting consistently on Facebook and getting out of my comfort zone um, kind of helped them as well because, you know, even before it was a done deal and they bought the challenge pack, all of them were like, you are such an inspiration to me because you're not pretending, you know, because I post about when I eat a cheat meal or I'm real about, you know, not eating 100% all the time. And I posted about the entire time that I was doing the ultimate reset and my results from that, but talked about how challenging it was. And so people, you know, see that I make mistakes too. And they know that it's okay if they eat awful for a week as long as they get back on and that's literally what every single one of them said to me before they bought their challenge pack was that they felt good, good knowing that they were going to be you know having someone there who wasn't trying to be perfect and I was like exactly so but no the health bet um, was definitely that extra motivation to make them do it so they are going to be in my challenge tracker group. So I'm excited for that. Nice. Are you doing that uh, along with other coaches then? Or how are you? Um, I haven't decided. Mm -hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Because 
right now I have four people. Well, I have the new four new challengers that just got challenge packs, but then um, I have about four other people that are already customers that want to be in it too. Okay, so gotcha. I don't know what's the limit. Like, what's the least amount you can have? <laughs> oh, you could do a group by your own with okay. that. You could, but don't feel like you have to. You know, okay. like you could combine with other coaches. You could combine in mine. You can, you know, if Lori's doing one, like you can, you can. Um, but I think they've changed it so that multiple coaches can be the lead now. So I haven't set a new one. I, I see you shaking your head, Michelle. I haven't set one. I mean, I just set mine up the other day, started it, but I haven't added in other coach admins yet. So I think it's really cool. I'm really glad they made that adjustment so that it can be multiple coach leads. I think somebody posted something like up to 30 or something like that, like a lot. Um, so, and then I don't know about participants. I don't even know if there is a limit. So it can be a you know, it can be a, a large group. Um, there's only a minimum, minimum of three people in the group. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it can be, you know, up to however many and lots of coach admins can do it too. Um, I don't know that I personally would do one with more than seven that are like posting as lead coaches, but people can do what they want. Coaches can always do what they want. Um, Okay, anybody has some questions for Taylor that you'd like her to answer? Um, go ahead and unmute yourself or raise your hand and I can unmute you. Rebecca, I get, let me see. There you go. Um, I'm going to mute myself. So how helpful was Team Z for you? Because I keep seeing that everywhere and I'm like, I need to watch a video on how to use that but I don't I, I haven't yet so I'm just wondering how helpful it was my thing with that so <laughs> I have it all set up and I actually yesterday or the day before went through and redid because you have to import contacts so I imported all of my beach body customers and coaches that I have and then I imported all of my Facebook friends which I have over a thousand Facebook friends so it was a lot and on Teamsy, you have to rate every single person. So you have to give them like a number one through five, meaning it, it tells you on there. So literally, I just went through and redid all of that. So technically, I haven't really even started using it yet. But um, what I have been doing on there is kind of like a cheater way is you can like add in. So I would literally search people that I have been talking to recently. And I kind of just started kind of doing it, but I haven't followed the system yet. So I really don't have much advice on that yet. I'm sorry. No, but I, need, I need to figure out how to, too. I don't know. Like, I'm still learning. So when I sat and I watched, like, three YouTube videos the other night trying to figure it out, too. But even as far as tracking, like, I think you'll love it. Because that's what I'm going to use. Because for me, it's hard for me to, like, I started a Google Docs list of, you know, all my customers and then all the follow-ups and stuff, but it's so hard because I'm not good at that. Like that, that, that was my weakness and why I was struggling at first because I could not do list and I hated writing it down on paper. So like Teamsy is, has been like heaven sent to me because I'm like, everyone is right there and it's making me get out of my comfort zone to talk to people I've been friends on Facebook with, but who might not necessarily like my things, but now they pop up on Teamsy like, oh, hey, message this person. So it might be someone you've been friends with on Facebook since you first created your Facebook account that you might have never talked to since, you know, whenever, since you added them as a friend. But they're going to come up on Teamsy, and it's going to say to, like, start a conversation with them or something. So that's kind of cool, too, is it's going to re bring up people that you might not have thought about, which is something that has been really helpful for me, too, because you know how – we're told to create a list of everyone you can think of that you can have a conversation with that might be interested in Beachbody or Shakeology or whatever. And for me, that was super hard. So of course I was able to name like a hundred people like we were supposed to, but like I said, I have a thousand friends. So Team Z has brought up people that I kind of completely forgot about. So that's the really nice thing about it too. Have you started to set yours up? No, I think I'm going to start tomorrow. Do it. It's awesome. Yeah. And like I said, once you import your friends and you get past the whole rating thing, it's super, super easy. 
I'm still, I just got done reading all of them last night. So I'm going to actually kind of officially start with it probably tonight. <laughs> so maybe I'll have better advice next time. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Taylor, update us. Let us know as you start to use it. Um, I did the 30-day trial, although I didn't use it consistently throughout that trial. I was kind of experimenting and, and learning it a bit, and then my trial was up, and so now I have to pay to, use, to do it. And so I'm deciding whether I'm going to do it September 1st or whether I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I probably should just go ahead and do it because I've gotten the downloads from Facebook, but if it's a, a couple of days old, you have to redo it. Um, which I'm, I need to because I add new people all the time. So um, yeah, yeah. you get like a downloads emailed to you from Facebook and then you use that. And t in TeamZ, there's tutorial videos on how to do like everything. So oh, you might have to watch it a couple times, but you could go on it tonight, Rebecca, and check out a couple of those videos just to see. But the cool thing is the person who helped to create it is a coach. So they, like, he gets it. Like, he, it was created for us, you know? And so he had an outside, his friends of his or something, put it together as a business because as a coach, he can't do that and sell it to other coaches, you know? But, I mean, so it's a coach who, who was a real estate or maybe still is. So they kind of used that type of system to apply to coaching, um, to kind of keep track of things. And that for me is a, is a big struggle as well, Taylor. So I, I'm pretty excited about using it too. The rating everybody on Facebook friends that it seems like a huge task, but <laughs> it was, especially when you have over a thousand people, I, my like, like hand 20, started to cramp. <laughs> <laughs> I was just rating my coaches. I think, I think I imported my coach. I, even my customer list is going to be crazy, but It'll be worth it. So, and it's, you're totally right. It will remind you. And it's like, well, Teamsy told me to do it. So I'm just going to go message that person. Why is that easier for us to do? Just because Teamsy told Because we're being to told it. what to do. <laughs> it takes us back to a regular job rather than being like the entrepreneur who isn't told what to do, I guess. Right. But that's all right. It's a system. And for me, I need systems to, to help me implement. So. I do too. It's pretty cool that it came up. So check it out, Rebecca. See, and I think, you know, just start small with it. Import whatever customers or, you know, that you have. And then check out the Facebook part of it and importing those people. I think if you don't, if you don't import people from Facebook, you can manually add in. So you could, like I was thinking, well, should I just start fresh and just start adding like the new people I'm adding and starting new conversations with? So I might just start with that. I'm not sure. But yeah. Let us know. Let us know what you do because I know we've got a lot of people using it and loving it now. You know, so especially people that like like checklists and like checking off that it's done. Yep. So that's totally me. <laughs> cool. Let us know. Anybody else have questions for Taylor? No. Good. All right. So as far as a power hour, I am not going to start one now. But I'm going to ask who has today added three people. If you have done it already, raise your hand. I've added two. <laughs> so I, I got am failing. What? <laughs> I am failing. You're failing? <laughs> okay. So your power hour. If we were to work through one, I would say go add three people now. Old friends, friends of friends, friends of family. You know, you would go and add them in. Okay, that can be done really easily. And I look at the Facebook suggestions. I do look at them. I screen, you know, I screen them, but I do add people from there. Um, next thing would be adding th or messaging three people. Could be those new friends from earlier today or people that have already accepted your request. Just starting a conversation with those three people. Um, and then we move into inviting three people. So if who's invited anyone today? Invite to a group, invite to coaching, anything. Okay, good. So some have, awesome. If you can get one more out tonight before you sign off for the night, that would be awesome to do that. Um, I have somebody that I invited recently, and she just got a challenge pack today, and I'm like, why didn't I bring up the coaching opportunity to her? So I'm still going to go back and say, hey, I should have mentioned this to you. I think she used to be a former coach anyways. So... It's a little bit weird situation, but um, 
I make mention message her and we totally connected. She has a son with autism and everything too. So we're totally connected and message about that. And I just didn't even mention, mention the coach thing. Um, okay. And then following up with three people. I actually like following up better than, <laughs> than inviting um, just because I can follow up and say, Hey, I know we talked about this before. Just wondered if you were still interested or should I check back with you? Always give them an option. Were you interested now or should I check back with you in a month or two or for my next group? You know, if you're talking about, okay, I've got a group starting, you know, September 5th, should I check back for my next group? So always give that option. Um, and like Taylor said, that part is so important. And a lot of the people that I end up having um, join me are definitely people that I've talked to months, sometimes years ago. My brand, a new coach that signed up recently, she had been a coach several years ago and we just sort of stayed in touch and she decided it was time and rejoined. Um, and then Instagram. So are any of you guys working Instagram pretty consistently? Taylor, yeah? Instagram is where it's at. Yeah. Tony can't say enough about it too, right? <laughs> well, so. and I had to go around with it one other time and I hated it. And actually just two weeks ago, I redid it. I decided to buy four days of it three or four days I can't remember yeah. and that has been a game changer too two so of my so. people have been from Instagram really awesome yep. that's so cool to see that conversion so what um, who were the people like from Instagram like were they people that you had followed and liked stuff of theirs before or nope. new people because of Instagram yep super cool and I actually okay. had a random lady who I thought was a scam at first because it was so weird how she went about it, but she's real. <laughs> um, but this random lady messaged me like she screenshotted one of my posts. Okay. It was a picture that I had posted after working out. She literally screenshot it, sent it in a, a message and was like, what are you doing? And like, she just like went on about it and wanted to know what I was doing and how could she get that? And <laughs> You know, I think that that's not even necessarily her screenshotting it. I think if from I haven't checked my Instagram, but I think if you if you do like from a post, you do send a message. It like automatically does that or something. Like I it think so weird. Was it okay? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think I've seen something like that before, but that's awesome. Maybe she just wanted to be like, this is what I'm talking. About. <laughs> that's <laughs> funny. Um, but so Instagram really is working for me as well. I was hesitant. I didn't get it at first. You know, I felt like I need it just, but you got to give it a time and you can do, is it a three day trial free three days and you can turn it off for part of the time. So just to run you really quick and we'll finish on that with Instagram, you can turn it off for certain hours of the day. If you want to extend that three day trial, or if you buy a week or something like, or a month, you can turn it off at certain times. I generally let mine run most of the time, but I think I've turned it off during my trial I did in the middle of the night for a few hours or whatever to save on the hours and to, they extend it. So they go the full three days, 24 hours each day, even if it goes into, you know, four or five days or whatever. So check it out. The video that um, we've had tagged and posted in the group, in the team page, that Josh Coach did about um, Instagram. It really does work. I also posted one that Anita Myron did. Anita Myron is an actual coach. She's a top 10 coach. And she was talking in general about how she, how she uses Instagram for coaching and works in and talks about Instagram, which is an additional website that you can set up and link with your Instagram. So I like Anita's video a lot too, because it goes a little bit more into specifically as a coach and then how to work Instagram into it too. So if anybody needs that, let me know and I can tag you in that um, video. All right, guys, thank you very much for getting on tonight. Thanks for listening in the um, recording and I will hit that up as soon as I can. Um, and then we're going to have three calls in September. I will be posting that schedule soon. So stay connected to the team, stay connected to me. Um, and we will be having several different topics, um, and types of calls in September. So we want to catch everybody on, you know, what it is you really look for in a team call, you know, whether it's connection with the rest of the team, whether it's really working a power hour, 
or whether it's learning on a specific topic. So we're going to have kind of those three types of calls, hopefully on a monthly basis starting in September. So thanks you guys for getting on and I will talk to you all soon. See ya.